Welcome back, collective. I am back with another message. Let's go ahead and get into it. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are so grateful and thankful for your love and kindness. Thank you for supporting us in the dreams and the, and the desires that we have. Thank you for leading us to an expected end. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being our king and our keeper, our way maker. Thank you that you are the great shepherd of the sheep. We worship you. We love you, Jesus. We bind and rebuke all forms of wickedness and evil that would try to stop or block our progress. We rebuke the enemy in all of his treacherous ways. We cancel the very assignment that the enemy has had on our focus, our prosperity, our finances, our love, our peace, and our well-being. We reverse every single curse in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask that you would speak to our hearts, our souls, and our minds. Touch us all individually in the correct way according to this message reveal your truth reveal your righteousness and we ask that you would speak lord through your holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen okay hi so um collective it looks like here somebody is regretful for it looks like someone really regrets something that they've done. It could have been um, ending something with you or creating some level of change that is not, I don't know. They're just, it, there's a lot of regret and loss here. And the speed and the progress that you're taking, the way that you are, you know, continually reaching these aims that you set out to reach, it's like you take action very quickly. Your your tenacity, your endurance, your stamina is really, really amazing. It's like the way that you can see ahead and then you charge ahead. There could have been something. It's like you've begun to move forward already after a certain level of backbiting or, you know, just really hitting a rock bottom with something. This could have been because of a relationship. It's like someone is very sad over the loss of the connection. They're very sad and in regret if there was something that came in between or caused this this person really feels like you have this way of still having success and victory even in between some really devastating things happening to you or occurring to you this is like if you were cheated on if you were betrayed if you realized that someone you thought was like a very close friend ended up being like an enemy or whatever it was that happened this, you know, this is something that brought you a lot of exhaustion, whether this was like dealing with toxic relationship patterns or whatever it was, you've come out of that space. And now it's like success is the only thing on your mind. You are very determined. And this person feels like, man, between whatever they said to you and being like very daring and rebellious, or like if they just said something, you know, seizing the moment to kind of say something between that and the betrayal, how you are able to charge ahead and move forward is literally mind boggling. This really like knocks someone off what they thought Whatever action you've taken to move forward successfully, this is you overcoming these obstacles. This is you acknowledging that there have been blockages, there has been failures, or there has been betrayal, whatever that is, but you're still choosing to be fearless. You're still choosing to love yourself. You are still choosing to pursue this higher calling and, you know, to continually strive for excellence, whether that be you have to just like really depend on like your self-control and your discipline and, you know, like what you foresee in the future. It doesn't even matter at this point. Like you understand that you are free. You have a brand new beginning ahead of you. This is, you know, like you're not being um, careless or anything like that, but you're stepping into this season because you know that you're going to be doing twice as better. You know that you are the winner, whether this is fully manifested or not, you are a winner. 
You are, you know, in a space right now where destiny, destiny, purpose, and all of these things have aligned. And it's like you stepping out on faith to do this. This is what really creates this uh, positive flow of energy, really bringing in positive change for you, really bringing in the right cycles in your life. And it's like, um, there's something that you could have been doing just, you know, taking a long time. Whatever it is, it's like someone feels as though you started something and you are going to start, like you're going to finish the things that you start. So even if it's taking a long time. Even if it's, you know, you're putting in more effort than you're receiving profit, it doesn't matter. You're being acknowledged for your routines and you being very, like your routines create a sense of, um, you're very responsible. And it's like your routines are really producing something, even if it's like you had to still be patient and long suffering, feeling as though the world is against you or feeling like, oh, man, when is there going to be a change in, you know, negative circumstances or like if you felt left out, you know, you were able to still see the positive and whatever your commitment has been and this, this, you know, Patience and, and practicality has really helped you get through moments where you you've been challenged for a season. You know, understanding that there's always going to be some level of um, improvement on the other end. You know, like on the opposite end of a negative situation is a positive. So it's like you pursuing and pushing through that. This person feels like they left you out in the cold for a really long time or um, they could regret, you know, whatever experiences that you've had to go through that could have caused you some level of um, poverty, adversity, um, homelessness job loss hmm. whatever it is you know just feeling left out or excluded or just like alone or whatever and somebody is really seeing you like that's not what they want for you they feel bad, you know, if you had to go through any kind of struggle. This person really feels like, you know, they brought some level of conflict to the connection or, you know, like now the connection is going to be they, they match you in so many ways. There's, you know, like this person feels like they wouldn't be dis like there wouldn't be a sense of discontentment with you. There's a lot of potential in this. They, you know, there's always been this mutual attraction, this mutual love. And this person feels like the conflict or fighting or arguing or, um, them going through even a lot of internal conflict, but there could just be a lot of competition or this person put up a lot of blockages in this connection. There was just a lot of clashing, which is what's chart, which is what's causing you to charge forward. Yeah. Someone feels, you know, they feel as though like, yeah, you're between them bad mouthing you or like backstabbing you or all the stuff that I said or whatever, cheating on you or whatever. Between all of that, the cheating on you and then the things that they said to you, you know, like. 
or this is like seriously betraying you. And then the things that they said to you, just like the in and out kind of energy. It's like this person feels really, they feel really bad because they feel like you had to really create something within yourself. You had to tap into a certain level of energy within yourself to overcome so much hardship. And they really do see you. I'm hearing anointed. They really do see that you are anointed. They see that, you know, you're very, very serious about your religion, your spirituality, your beliefs. You are very much, you know, balanced in your perspective. You have been tempered by the divine. This was the, um, whatever was said. Yeah, it's like whatever they said to you, they're seeing like your patience or your serenity, or they see the divine, and you know, like has intervened in you. Or not, you get what I'm saying, like intervened in a way where it's created a change in you. You didn't respond. Or there was something here. It's like, you're just standing very balanced. And this has everything to do with you being a spiritual leader, being in your life purpose or being on this spiritual path. Yeah. Someone is really looking and thinking. It's like now that they see you in this very balanced energy, this earth angel, it's like now that they receive so much confirmation, this person really is thinking about long-term commitment. This is like, this is something else that really blows their mind. This person feels like they want to marry you, like feeling as though they want to marry you or feeling as though they want something, you know, very traditional or whatever. Um, it's, this is something different for this person. They don't think this way. Typically, this is someone that's, you know, they're going to really think about it before they'll speak that or before they, you know, but this person is just very curious Yeah. There really is something here about the way you inspire this person that really makes them want to take this leap of faith, whether this is to come towards you or, um, you know, or whether this is them, like they look to you for new ideas and this person is like, they are trying to plan a new path forward. Or this is how they see you. They don't want you to move ahead or, um, you know, like they feel... I don't know. They feel like if they chose another connection over you and now you're moving ahead so quickly, they're really trying to spy to see like what's going on. If you're in a relationship or a commitment or, um, you know, like if you've gotten married or how you're being balanced in your energy, what's going on. Like if you're tempered enough for them to, you know, I don't know, this person is really evaluating. And they feel as though you're very detached. They feel as though, you know, you're very detached and you have this level of detachment because of the possibilities that are ahead of you. You know, like you can decide in which way to go. You do have options. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, please clarify this connection. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Cancer, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Cancer, a Leo, dang. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Yeah. So somebody is watching you move ahead towards something that is very solid, very substantial. It's like whatever partnership you're um, going to enter into is going to be very successful. This person feels like you have the potential for long-term success. Everything that you're building is like based on loyalty, truth, and, you know, very high ethics and, and high morals. This person feels very regretful because they see you as someone that's very intriguing. You are an action taker to them. You're someone that is very much, you know, like you enthusiastically, you know, kind of lead, direct, or go after new ideas. Um, you know, pursuing new ideas, you're not opposed to change, but it's like the way that you inspire others is how you take action and the way that you um, really know how to flow with change. You could be a feminine, you don't have to be. This is like a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Yeah. So somebody feels like they betrayed you or they, they, they've done too much, like they've exhausted you, you know, this could be with some type of action that they took towards you, or they feel as though they've exhausted you because now you're moving ahead, just really confirming that. You're in this very, you're, you're creating so much traction, like you are making progress so quickly. This person sees that you are a trailblazer. You're, um, the way that you are able to mentally, like your mental agility and how you pursue your passions, the way that you are very like methodical. This person is looking at this. Yeah. They are just not very happy with the outcome. They're not very happy with the level of ambition and determination that you're showing. You know, like your hard work and everything, your focus. This person just has been in this energy they're curious. Like I said, they like to, you know, look to you for different ideas or um, just different ways to think before they speak or they say certain things. They just like to kind of like look at yours the way that you do it first. Okay. Um, But yeah, they feel like, man... This was the worst moment for them to do whatever, to put put something in um, complete ruin. They weren't expecting the, the level of pro, like progress and speed that you would take, you know, you would have. Yeah, because they really don't like that. They don't like the fact that whatever they did to you, whether they chose someone else or whatever they did, they don't like that. Um, they could possibly still be in a relationship. Well, regardless, it's like, because of how you are, because you're kind of like, you're very smart, you're battle ready, you're not going to get drawn into an argument, you're not going to be detour, you know, like you're not taking detours from where it is that you need to go. They see that and hmm. This person really feels like you're my, you are going to breadcrumb them because of something that they said. They like seize the moment or something that they said very, I don't know. They could have said something really rude. Yeah. 
very cold and sharp towards you, you know? <laughs> yeah. This person could really want to um, be in some type of balance, give and take with you. This could be, you know, like them wishing that they had of like seize the moment now to say that they wanted to be in some, you know, equal give and take, or this could be someone feeling as though they should not have mentioned something about like being generous or um, you giving to them or something like that. So just take it however... Regardless, this person feels as though like they wish they hadn't have said something to you if it was rude or if it was sharp or if it whatever. Um, because now it's like they feel like there's like a lack of passion. You miss, I don't know, you don't have the same level of passion or interest. Or this is like a missed opportunity. This could also be someone like not sending a message or something. Yeah, it's like your innocence and your innocence for freedom. It's like your innocence is, is freedom, like it's freeing for you. The way that you're able to move forward. person feels like you always have some type of like positive um, blessings happening because of your destiny. This could really like defeat this person. Makes them feel defeated. Because there's so much positive change for you. And this person is like just spying. They're not... Um, They're not saying anything. They're just really shocked. Yeah, they're really shocked because this person knows that something is completely over. They know that something has completely ended. It's like you stuck to whatever your plan is. You've been continually just working on, you know, what it is that you're doing. Someone feels like they left you out in the cold. Or you've just been continually pressing on past any type of adversity. And it's like you're following your heart now. This is you following your heart. The fact that you are not concerned with the process or, you know, you being very loyal to the process and just allowing it to kind of go with the flow. You following your heart in this really makes this person see the level of heartbreak, the level of betrayal or sadness or whatever for leaving you out in the cold or whatever um, temporary situation or setback you went through. 
because this person knows that you have the potential to be soulmates or, you know, to find a partner or to be compatible with so many people. Once you turn your back and you begin to focus on what it is that you truly deserve in a connection, you know, this is nothing but justice. It'll, you'll, you know, like you're going to receive justice in your life. And it's just because of all of the conflict and all of the chaos and whatever you've gone through in your past, you know, you being so calm and having this inner calm like this is really burdensome for this person because they see the ending of this cycle. They see this ending. This person feels like your commitment to the divine is what's moving you ahead so quickly. And what they're seeing is like, you are very happy. You are happily like committed to your family, the love of your family, creating something very fortunate, something very solid and stable emotional balance and peace within your home, within your environment, within your work life. Yeah, this person feels like this has been your investment for so long. And now that you have a new path ahead of you, you know, like you deciding where it is that you're going to go or what choices you're going to make next are all, you know, hidden and unknown to this person. This could be someone that really does want to send you some type of message. But, you know, ultimately it's like they see that you've leveled up and you truly learned something. You're very much into growth, truth, gaining knowledge and understanding. Yeah, this person is seeing where they, you know, they had not changed their mindset or they weren't seeing something from the right perspective and it's like you are this earth angel you're very balanced and tempered in your energy yeah all right i think i'm gonna leave this one here i have the two of cups at the bottom yeah, someone sees you as like the perfect match or soulmate. They see you as this high priestess, just very content, very happy, very much deserving of, you know, like this peace, calm, and happiness that you've created. But someone really has like this overflowing love for you. This is true love. This person is looking at the way that you're able to manifest finances and stability. All right. I hope this helps. Like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.